Hi, I'm Skyler. While you can't actually delete an Apple ID, you can basically render it totally inoperable. Um, one way you would do that is just by signing out of things. So if you're on your iPod, for example, or iPhone, you, know, you go to Settings, and down at the bottom, iTunes and App Stores, tap the ID, and sign out. But if you want to manage how your Apple ID is being used, go to iTunes on your computer. Once you're at your computer, click on Store up here at the top and click View My Apple ID. You'll have to enter your password. Once you do, you'll see all of this information. Now, what you'll want to do is go here, Manage Devices. So click Manage Devices. And here I can see all of the things that are using my Apple ID. Like, for example, this iPod Touch, which I actually don't own anymore. So I'm going to re remove that so that it's no longer associated with my Apple ID. And there we go, it's done. Now, if I continued on and remove the rest of the things, it would mean that even if I didn't have, the con have control of the device, uh, that device would no longer have any association with my Apple ID. I'm going to click Done here. Then I could go in and remove things like my credit card information, um, remove my address, all of that sort of stuff. Um, and then I could also reset all the warnings, you know, all of that sort of stuff. Then click on Store up here at the top again, and you can deauthorize this computer. And if you have multi com multiple computers that are authorized to play uh, content that you've bought with that Apple ID through iTunes, you'll see computer authorizations. It tells you how many, and it's up to five. So you could deauthorize all of those computers remotely so that you can sort of retract and consolidate control of that Apple ID. Then once you've deleted all that information, essentially you've deleted the Apple ID. It'll still be out there, and you can't actually um, reuse it at some other later date, and no one else can either, which is a security feature. Uh, one thing that you may want to do before you go so far is to do that is Let's say you're changing your email address, for example, and you no longer want to use the email address that's associated with your Apple ID. Well, you can change that. And to do so, there's a little link right here, edit at appleid.com. So you click on that, and it brings you to appleid.apple.com, and you sign in. And once you've signed in, you'll see a couple of things. Well, first, we have to verify things. So uh, this is also pretty important. Uh, Apple has recently introduced two-step verification. And what this means is that in order to log in and view these very important settings, I have to receive a verification code at my phone number. And we'll wait for it to come through. There we go. And this code is unique every time you log in. It makes a big difference in security. And it prevents things from being hacked. So right here, I see my email addresses, et cetera. And I can click Edit, and then change my email address. So if I leave one email address, I can migrate my Apple ID to a new one. Thus, you may not actually have to delete anything. Thanks for watching. I'm Skyler.